Hello and welcome to a special edition of the VR Spies. Doing a bit of a collaboration, doing a little bit of uh, multiplayer racing in Assetto Corsa. And uh, Greg, what are we driving tonight? We are driving the uh, FSO Polonaise. Marvellous. No, 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 no. No. We're not driving the FSO Polonaise, we're driving the uh, Ferrari 488. We are. Now... I believe is it GT2? I think it is, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So I think I I'm gonna have to apologise straight off because we've got a bit of an audio issue tonight and I don't know why. It's it's really been annoying the hell out of me and I've spent way too long trying to figure it out, but for some reason when I accelerate you can't hear my car rev. Well maybe you can, but I can't anyway. So um we'll just have to put up with that. I can hear funny enough everything else. There you are. I can see you. Nice looking car, sir. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah. Shiny, shiny. Shiny, shiny. And so a set of Corsa. Should we do a little bit of a drive and we'll talk about how good a set of Corsa is and how it's improved. After yes. you, sir. Seeing as I'm the cameraman tonight on the VR Spies channel. Wow, well, that's a nice start. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, we're good. Yeah, we're doing well. What I've that? got a tiny, tiny Who's bit that? of engine noise. Who's that down there, huh? Who's that? Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, someone's joined us. Um, so, yeah, um... What's new with the settle? Uh, the post-processing. Yes. For the... Vive and the Rift, well, for the Rift mainly, but if you're reviving this for the uh, Vive as well. Um, but yeah. Post processing now works in VR along with the AA, which is very nice. And it looks pretty splendid, Chris, huh? It does, it looks amazing. Apart, I mean, it's really. It's bugging me. I can hear your engine noise. That's the crazy thing, just not my engine noise. Did you get I can hear road gun? noise. It sounds electric. And I can hear. I, it's crazy because you know the way the audio is all split up between kind of everything. Oh, sorry, man. Oh, sorry, Greg. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I've, I've ruined your car. Um, you know how, like, the audio, you can specify exactly what you hear. I can hear everything. The exhaust, the gears, the wind noise, your noise, everything. Just one component missing, and that's the engine. And it's so weird, and it's really off-putting. It's like being in an electric car. And also, yeah, I can't time my gear changes. Because <laughs> I can't... I usually can't do it on audio. Engine, yeah. Can't hear the engine. I have to do it on the lights. We're going some, though. We're going some. We've still got it, man. It's midnight. We're, um... Oh, 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 oh! oh. I say that. Look at that. Hey, there's a guy here. Hello, guy. You know what, I'm just going to turn on stats because I'd like to know the names of the people we have in. Because sometimes we get people we recognise because they see we're playing and they jump in, don't they? So, right, so let's talk a little bit about what we're doing tonight because we're doing this slightly differently. We had a bit of a team meeting and we decided that if we do a collaborative event, rather than all of us stream on our independent channels, what we're going to try and do is stream just through the VR Spice, which makes a lot of sense. So you guys don't have to pick and choose who you want to watch. You can just watch VR Spies and it will work. Um, all I'll say is we are working on a very clever way to do multi-screen within one stream. And yeah, we're working on it. Let's just say that. And we haven't figured it out yet, but we're working on it. I can see you in my rear view. Getting a bit close there, sir. I lifted off. I lifted off. I worst out. I worst out. Oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> it's yellow v red tonight, isn't it? Oh, neck and neck, mate. Neck and neck. Damn one. <laughs> Don't lift off, Greg! Don't lift off! Don't lift off! Oh, 
Oh, you did. You broke. You pansy. <laughs> Cut the corner. Yeah! Oh, you fucker. Oops. <laughs> oh, sorry, I've crashed as well. Who can recover in time? There he goes. Oh no, I've got a, I've got mud I've got muddy tires. I got no grip. I spun off straight away. I love that though. I love the fact it actually gets. I don't recognise anyone yet. Oh damn it! I'm well greasy. You're gonna have to wait for me. I'm just chilling, man. You do the weight of shame now. I'm still rolling, but just slowly rolling down the hill. I suppose, um, I, whatever bug I've got with a set of Corsa where I can't hear my engine, mm. um, I'm gonna have to mess around with it. Maybe I'll, I'll do like a kind of Steam recheck of the files or whatever, but uh, validate then. revalidate, yeah. But I know what's going on with it. It's very strange. Never had that before. It might be just this car. That's the other thing. It might be like something to do with the sound pack of this mm. car. That's fairly true. What about you, Chris? I'm I'm here. I've finally made it. Yeah. Oh, look at that! That's, and now I crash. <laughs> I have been drinking. I just, I, you know, cars on the table. I've had a couple of beers. It's no excuse. But I've been on the driving beers mainly. You know, I shouldn't call them driving beers. Low alcohol. We don't advocate drink driving in the VR spies. Oh no, we're very. Oh yeah. Oh, there you go, spinning about. I saw it on my little rear view TV. I'll just park up and have a little picnic. While you get yourself sorted out there, Greg. Yeah, man. You get that sorted. Here he comes. Yeah, he's coming up fast. This this corner here in P cars is way worse. It's mind you. Yeah. It's way worse in P cars, but you've just spun out. Here we go. Yeah. Now I think um although we can't shit. This is not a good kind of I think Don's still, um, he might be moderating chat. He's not in our uh, Skype chat tonight because he's got a bit of uh, noise in his house. But he said he was going to jump on and try and moderate chat. So I'm hoping I'm hoping that people see the stream and join. That would be nice. Um, and I'm hoping that Don's able to moderate the chat as well. Mm -hmm. Otherwise we're just talking to ourselves, aren't we? So yeah, they've definitely done a shit ton of work on this game lately, huh? Oh, definitely. Uh, I'll tell you what. One of the things that I noticed with the update as well is for a uh, single player, the AI is rock solid now. Like, proper rock solid AI. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I think the, uh, the AI is good, and you don't get all that kind of weird, slightly strangely aggressive behaviour with the AI. It actually drives pretty sensibly, you know, they're not ramming you into corners and stuff. Um, the other thing about this is, and I know it's nothing to do with Assetto, but I'm actually running this with the uh, pixel density increase through the Oculus debug tool, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. which I haven't really done before, or if I have, I, I've always said I don't notice the difference, but in this you really notice the difference <laughs> in Assetto for some reason. I think because the anti-aliasing is a bit too harsh, um, it really sharpens things up doing the, the debug tool. And no, no kind of drops in frame rate at all. Really nice on the old 980 Ti days. So, um, and you're sporting the uh, 1080. Yes. And Greg, you found out something the other day which I was unaware of about how 980, 980 uh, Ti owners get a nice surprise, don't they? Yeah, well, it was in, in the last driver update. Um, yeah. There was a sort of update for the TI where it's using the. Uh, oh, I can't, I can't think and talk about think this and drive. at the same time, Chris. <laughs> I'm testing you. Yeah, um, 
Yeah, so there's a driver update on uh, the new VR work stuff for the 1080, well, 10 series cards. Now it works with the TI, which is a bit of a bonus for TI owners. That is a big bonus, yeah, because, you know, you've got the dual pass rendering and all that. Sing what do they call it? Single pass, Single pass VR pass. Render rendering, yeah. Which is really the biggest feature, I think, in the um, in that VR functionality. And the fact that comes now onto the TIs with a software update is really good. I thought that was like hardware related. Here we go. Let me just let me just park up, Greg. I'll just park up here. I'll have a little wait. <laughs> Patronising. Uh, you haven't been waiting a while because I'm. Uh, I'm in so let's talk again about that. It's got anti-aliasing, which makes it look a lot better. It's also got all of the post effects, as you mentioned, post processing. I've got um, photographic mode enabled, and photographic mode I think is really good. It, it sort of improves the contrast, brings out the greens a bit more. Yeah. Uh, just it kind of looks a lot more real, you know, less cartoony. You know, I'm not saying Assetto's cartoony really, but it looks less cartoony. <laughs> And it's a nice, it's a nice one that. And you've got the other good one is um, movies, quite good, is it? Yeah, movies a nice preset. Yeah. I can see you there. I'm just matching your speed so I can have a look at the old car. Whoa! <laughs> oh crap! Oh shit! I forgot about that. <laughs> Every time, every time, we've broken our cars. <laughs> <laughs> slightly, mangled slightly mangled indeed right as wooden signs go they are the most solid I've ever encountered 150 mile an hour Ferrari it's uh, <laughs> like nothing happened yeah like a fly hitting a windscreen oof is this like a practice mode, a continuous practice, or is there a race as well? Uh, this is just a tourist run. So oh, you it's know tourist, yeah, so you can do it again and again. Yeah, basically, if you go to Northlife and pay to go on the track, you do this. You come out with that car, you come through here, and uh, this is the tourist run. I've got a tourist behind me. You've got what? I've got a tourist behind me, and uh, I didn't know you could drive that Maserati 4x4. What what update yeah, was yeah. that in? Was it in the red pack? Yeah. Alright, I'll get out of his way, because he might want to actually be serious. Oh, I haven't seen it till now. No, that's what I was thinking. I've not it seen it either. It's huge. It is. It's like, a, it's like a truck. It's a bit wallowy. But I bet it's quick, you know, in real life. IRL. There you go, man. <laughs> Burnout. You're cool. The chicks love you. You can't call them chicks. Right then. Um, the chicks don't like that. Who was that that flew by? Um, that was Frizzola. The guy that's sitting here in his uh, thing is a guy called o Odis. So again, apologies if you're tuning in and wondering why my engine sound sounds strange because for some reason my engine noise is not recording, just every other aspect is, so I don't know what that is. It's so nice to have this back for all its graphical options. Yeah, mate, this is the best I've ever seen a Seto. Absolutely the best. It's great, isn't it? Mm -hmm. This now is just shot past P cars for me. Yeah, the, for the physics, ah, the bumps, bump yeah, every little bump. That's I love that aspect of it. I mean, obviously these race tracks are pretty smooth anyway, but just the fact that when you do get the imperfections, they're there, you know, and it's it feels real, you know. Mm -hmm. So like now I just went, I just felt this like little bit of grit on the track. I just felt it vibrate through my from a steering wheel. Unbelievable. Oh, 
oh man I tried to overtake that guy in a cocky way and uh, I failed miserably he must be about a million miles ahead of me it'll be interesting to see where this game is by the time uh, the console version releases yeah is uh, what you mean? Are you suggesting they'll start putting in a bit more time into the PC version? Um, I'm suggesting you would have thought that um, the, P the console version will be uh, a slightly more flushed out game. In the Very sense much, of yeah. More Has to be. Than, that than what's already in here. Has um, to be. Has to be. More tracks, more cars. Um, you would have thought. So. Uh, you would have thought that we'd see the same thing on the PC at the same time. Yeah, true. Oh, there you are. Look. He's right behind me, you know, if you want to sit down. You know, you know, talking of consoles, we haven't talked to Billy, at least I haven't, about his PSVR experience. He's one of the only one of ones of the team that's tried the PSVR now. Yeah. He did a I video, but... A little chat with him about it. Have you? Because I, I was a little bit interested to find out what his real feelings are on it. Because in the video, it's a little bit kind of, well, you know, the the guys in the store demoing it, and he was very positive about it. But I never actually got like an honest bit of feedback. You know? uh, but he really likes it. But I'll leave it up to him to talk about that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, he does like it. He seemed positive on the on the video, which surprised me. You know, because you know we're pretty critical of VR stuff if it's not perfect. So, um, actually, that's a good sign, right? I think PSVR might be flying. So, yeah, good news. And you got to admit, though, a lot of the PSVR stuff out there is um, is quite low poly. So, you know, and that's clever, clever design, right? And low poly looks great in VR. So that will obviously be an optimization they'll grab hold of. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the rest So, um, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to um, getting everybody in here and doing some sort of, uh, you know, multiple camera angle yeah, stuff, you know. Oh, oh yeah, we got to do Aventadors. You know, we, we could jump out and try those if you want. Oh, definitely, man. Yeah, let's do that. Let's jump out of this game, stay on this server, um, yeah. but jump into the Aventadors. Sorry, my big nose caught on my lovely VR cover. Every so often I have to promote the uh, VR cover. Let me just enable my webcam. There we go. Hello, everybody. Um, right, so just while that's going, it's gone a little bit black. And... Right, straight back in to the same one. I'm going to join it with... I wonder if I should try that big truck. What is it though? What's it called? Is it the uh, Levante S? Levante S. Do you want to try that? Uh, yeah. Why not? Let's give that a go. We'll go on the old Levante S. Yes. It kind of reminds me of that Porsche. Uh, Porsche Cayenne. Whatever it's called. Porsche Hyman. Yeah, Cayenne. 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 Cayenne, Cayenne Pepper. Yeah. Yeah, yeah a mate of mine, uh, he's a mechanic and he picked one up he picked one of those up for four grand because <laughs> it had some problems. He did some repair work on it and sold it for about ten. Yeah, it was about cool. eight years old. That quick man, really quick. Oh, this is this is nice man. I like this. It's big. Big great stonking thing. Built for um, school pickups. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, school pickups for that school up that mountain that yeah. all the kids go to. Um, oh, he's in the Otis. I don't know. Where are you? Oh, there you are. I'm in a white one because I'm classy. Why can't I? Oh, this is automatic. Oh, shit. Of course, it's automatic. Hey mate, guess what? 
guess what I'm going to tell you now. I've got my engine noise back. Nice. How did you fix that? Uh, I didn't. Uh, it must be related to that car. It must be a bug with that car. Yeah. So I reckon if I do a... Hey. Uh -huh. Where's my... I can flash my lights, but my horn's not working. Oh, there you go. Get out of the way! <laughs> <laughs> Bloody school run mum. <laughs> Actually, these are, these are nice, aren't they? Oh, off we go. I want one of these now. They've got nice seats. I bet they've got, um, like, you know the, uh, uh, what do you call it, heated seats, like our seats. Yeah, well, mine's heating up, but that might just be because I just got a hot ass and it's hot. This temperature's killing me. It was like 34 degrees the other day in uh, England. People are dying. People are like, this is too much, I'm just going to drop dead now. They don't corner so well. Uh, it's crazy. Yeah. Well, at least we tried it. Should we try something else now? Yeah. Yeah. Let's uh, let's switch cars. That was how you say crap. All right, switching cars again. Oh, it's cool putting your head on the bonnet. <laughs> what are we going to go into now then the um, well we got we got a whole bunch of Maseratis but should we try the Aventador uh, hmm. what is going on with my game you had a crash or something uh, possibly I am going to check I'm going to log into YouTube gaming on my phone and see if I've got any uh, any watchers here yeah I'm dead you're dead Okay. Okay. Oh, we're live and we have 10 viewers. Can you believe that? Really? Yeah. Thanks I for watching, know. guys. Thanks for tuning in. Lovely of you to join us. Um So, yeah, cool. All right. So, let's just make sure I can oh, oh, what I'll do is that's loading. Hopefully that'll bring up the chat and I'll be able to just check the chat in a little while mm -hmm. oh hold on yeah here we go chat yes we got some chat so guys oh great Don's in there as well yeah nice one Don <laughs> we've got Otis the red coat oh Otis you were just in here man the guy we were just racing with he mm -hmm. he was actually um, he was actually coming in from chat we've got uh, six marbles here wheat grinders in here as well hi wheat grinder how you doing man and who else we got? We got Marks, Gib Marks UK, Chris Wren. Man, it's so good to see all these people. That's really fantastic, guys. Um, yeah, how's the VR? How are the light rays looking? The light rays are looking really good, actually. It's very nicely done. It's not too overpowering. No. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going back to that, by the way, and checking the chat every so often. I no, no worries. has done in a long time. I agree wholeheartedly. It looks amazing. I'm in the Lamborghini now, and I love the Lamborghini in this. I absolutely love it. It's the only problem with it. Are you Are you in yours? No, um, I'm having some sort of Aha, issues. Got it sussed. It's all right. All right. There's another Lambo over there. Uh, uh, an orange one. I think I'm in an so orange in one too. Wendy liquor moment. A window liquor. So, although it's quiet, I do have also the engine noise in this as well. Mm. Which is interesting why I don't have it in the 488. Some weird bug there. But at least I can hear my engine. So, I I love I love the interior of this car. I mean, at the end of the day, you said it yourself, a Lamborghini now, because, you know, they're owned by the whole Audi group. They're a little bit of a, um, I hate to say it, but a little bit of a pretend supercar, aren't they? I mean, I mean, they are amazing, but they're like just. <sighs> well, 
see, the thing I is, don't know. you only used to have supercars. In mm. today's modern era, we've got the hypercar, <laughs> which kind of makes what the old supercars not so... Not so super. Hyper. Yeah. You know? No, you're right, and Lambos used to be like hypercars, really, and yeah. now they're just sort of supercars. And yeah. they do a lot of kind of budget end supercars, don't they? Oh, really, you're let's be honest. At things like the the Coenzig, um, you know, yeah, um, Koenigsegg, and La Ferraris, and all sorts of crazy shit. I love Paganis. Nice uh, mm, bit of Paganis. mayonnaise, bit of ham. Oh, that's Panani's, isn't it? Yeah, oh, I don't know. Yeah. Paninis. Panini, Panani. Panani, Panani, Pagani. I always get them mixed up. And it can be embarrassing. But it is so, you. Are, you, are you back in? Um, um, almost. I forgot to quick join. Um. You sir. Whoop. Okay, car number two, driven by VR Gaming Evolved, has joined. We have Otis here. Oh, he's back. Look at that. He's uh, he's both in chat and driving. I don't know how he's pulling that off, but hey, he is somehow pulling it off, madam. I like the interior of this car. It's uh, very nice indeed. Yeah, it is. It is really cool, man. Um, it's like although, Tron. The, it's quite plain. It is quite plain. I was thinking well, that as well, yeah. Yeah, then again, like you were describing earlier, sort of poor man supercar, isn't it? Bit, bit of a bit of a budget end. But I'm amazing. Poor man's choice in supercars. <laughs> you wouldn't see many of these in Dubai. Hell no. Um, so, when you pull up next to me, I'm by the exit. Um, I'll have a little look at yours, and I'll show you. I'll show you mine, as it were, in a completely heterosexual sense. Yes, uh, a strange little man. <laughs> <laughs> I am. When did you realise this? <coughs> oh shit. Mm. Oh crap. One thing I don't like about this car is what? the big, <laughs> very, very blatant <laughs> dashboard. You know, like the, the centre console. Ah, it's too console. much, the, uh, man. Yeah, the. the, the... Oh, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got to say, for a VR car, this is pretty poor, isn't it? You know, for visibility. Um, you know, you don't see a lot. I mean, you've got big windows to the side of you, but your visibility in front is really narrow. And I'm guessing that's accurate, right? I mean, it must yeah. be. But it's quite disappointing. But the good thing about this is it really lifts off. It's got a huge amount of torque. But it doesn't go around corners, like, much. <laughs> no, it's, it's a Lambo, isn't it? Big heavy monster. Big old heavy thing. Nice it, like, the carbon fiber up the doors and stuff. Can you like help me with something? Understeer means it basically doesn't doesn't corner enough. Oversteer means your back end goes out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah? So o oversteer is the fun one, understeer is the one that's not fun at all. Yeah, that's the one. So Understeer is what this does. You go around the corner, it's like the back end often. Oh, it just did, but it just oversteered massively there. But usually it's understeer, and and for some reason today it's oversteering. Let's have a look at look at yours then. You got a blue one. I'm in an orange one. Yeah, mine's it's looking good, man. Is a bit warmer. Yeah. Right. Oh, someone coming behind you. Easy now. Who's that? Who have we got here? Oh, it's Odis. Hello, Odis. How are you doing? You've got yourself into the VR Spy stream in your lovely GT4. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Actually, I've got to admire the, the Lamborghini because one thing you can't, you can't argue, Lamborghini is one hell of a good looking car. Yeah. The Aventador is unbelievable. Look at the back of that car. It's like a Batmobile. I mean, the Bat Batmobile, the last one was was designed by Lamborghini, wasn't it? It's based off a Lamborghini chassis. Um, not 100%. I believe, I believe it is. 
Could well be though, could well be. It does look like a Batmobile, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. It's cool actually, you know what, I'm taking it back, this is actually quite fun to drive. Yeah. It's not quite as good as the you Ferrari. You used to, well the thing is it's a road car so it's going to be completely different than that Ferrari because that thing's race spec. So this is, ah. You see what I mean? Under seal like a biatch. Yeah. We got Otis up my ass here. Give it a rest, mate. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. He's dominating my. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. Nice car, man. I like that. GT4. Is that a Maserati then? That is a Maserati. Very cool indeed. And you're behind me, flashing your lights. How rude. I'm flashing my lights. You can tell it's a road spec car. <laughs> you just took out Odis. That Did was it? rude. Yeah, almost. Get out of the way. Let's see how much power I've got over the Maserati. You'd hope I'd have a lot more, but it's actually not as much as you'd think. Oh my god, did I clip him? Oh! <laughs> Shit! I'm spinning! I'm spinning! Oh my god. I think he took me out. <laughs> I love the sound of the gravel pinging under the car. It's quite 3D, you know what I mean? It's like spatial. It's very cool. I wish the dashboard would flash red when I needed to change gear because I keep forgetting. The engine note is quite... Um, it goes blue. Uh, for some reason my brain doesn't associate that with anything important. Right, Otis. I'm taking you down. You're going down. <laughs> oh, we've got Gaz101 as well. Gaz101's on his way in. He was on the forum earlier. And we can talk about the forum now. It's not a big secret. Uh, so, yeah, the VR Spies forum. We've done a bit of a soft launch. And we haven't really formally announced it on any of our channels or anything yet. So this is probably the first time we've announced it publicly. Indeed. But, indeed... Um, because we haven't got very many people watching this, and a lot of the people watching this actually are already signed up on the forum, I noticed. So, um, if you want to join the forum, you are most welcome. It is now live and ready to go. It's forum.vrspies.com. It's for the community, by the community. No, no ads, no commercial, anything. Um, and you just yeah, you pay us fifteen million pounds a year. Fifteen million. Yeah, obviously. That's in the small print. They never read the small print, Greg. Mm -hmm. Let them work that one out yes. when the bailiffs come round. <laughs> no, it's it's completely free of charge. Um, obviously, your soul belongs to us, but you know, uh, again, small print. Uh, but it's gonna be it's gonna be like uh, how can I put this without sounding? I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say, although I am saying it. But I won't say it's going to be like Reddit, but more friendly, because that's rude to people on Reddit. It's but um, like Reddit at all. No, it's nothing like Reddit because it's a forum. Yes. And sorry, I'll shut <laughs> up. <laughs> Greg gets very sensitive if I criticise Reddit. I'm not criticising Reddit. Reddit's been good to us. Good community there. But um, I will say that it's going to be a friendly bunch of people. The chat, you know, we're going to encourage developers to come on and share their stuff, you know, and uh, we're even going to do a few kind of giveaways. We're going to ask devs to give us Steam keys for giveaways, that kind of thing. We can arrange all our little events. This event tonight was arranged on the VR Spies forum. We did a little post saying tonight at 9 p.m. we will be driving. And at midnight we finally got around to it. But anyway, that's another story. Um, 
so yeah good for game planning organizing little clan wars and multiplayer stuff talking about games talking about hardware um that kind of thing so get yourself over to forum.vrspires.com i sound like an infomercial now don't i yes. yeah it's uh it's good and it will help you maintain a four hour erection so a four hour erection if if they sign up if you sign up today it will help with your erections so uh um, just bear that in mind yeah that's true I that's true it's a, this, give it a smart help. <laughs> it's a placebo effect admittedly but um just try it guys try it I will be mentioning forum.vrspies.com quite a lot until you sign up. Yeah. Odis has disconnected. He's oh, probably jumping into chat. By Gaz. Oh, you know. I never saw Gaz. Did he actually drive past us? Uh, I'm not sure. Alright, let's have a little look. I'm going to... Oh, he's back. Look, car number five driven by Odis. So, I'm just going to glance at my phone again and see if we've got any more chat messages. Here. Yeah. Hello. Right, so here we go. What's going on in chat? Oh, we've got, yeah, we grind us here. Hello. Uh, face bashing the keyboard while typing. Also, yes, good. People are actually trying to uh, jump in. Wheat Grinder says forums exclamation mark, which I guess is good. Um, Fifteen million pounds is only thirty-five dollars post Brexit. Good point, uh, Aaron. Thanks for that. Um, yes, yes. My wife thanks you <laughs> for the uh, four-hour erection. No problem. Um, and if it doesn't work, the for signing up for the forum. Uh, you could just take Greg's advice and just slap it with a, a ruler or something. Um, there you go. Cool. All right, guys. Yeah, please do sign up with the forum, though. Or otherwise, I'll just keep talking about it yeah. until you get bored. All right, then. Should we try a different car or a different track yeah, or something? Like yeah, something. I'm, I'm bored of this car. I'm bored of this car. I thought I'd say it was bored of a Lamborghini, but this one, meh. Yeah, it's a bit, yeah, isn't it? A bit, yeah. It's meh. It's all right. It's just it's it's like a road car. It's like a fast road car. But that's what Lamborghini are trying to be nowadays, isn't it? You know. Do you want to stick with the same server, or do you um, want to try something totally different? We could try something different. All right. Well, if you're looking at your little, um, there's a Ferrari La Ferraria about four four or five down from where you just were. Same track, I think, but GP. Um, maybe not. You tell me what you find, and I'll jump on it. How about that? And while we're waiting for that, please do fire. If you have a question for us, by the way, do it in oh, like yeah, in capital Ferrari letters or something. Ferrari. All right, do that one then, mate. If you've got a question for us, put like capital letters question. And the question you want us to answer, and I'll see it easier in the st in the chat because my eyesight is very poor. Mm. I'm squinting. Dementia, dementia, man, dementia was years ago. Mm. Oh, okay. So, um, La Faria. Yeah, this so is guys, a nice motor, by the way. Is it okay? So, if you're joining us, we're on. Um, it's run by the same people by Bees. Best Star and Skunk, and it's in the it's the Le Ferraria on Nürburgring GP. It's not a track I'm particularly mad about, to be honest. But oh, why am I not joining? Oh, there you go. Are you already in there? Yep, I'm just sitting in my shiny Le Ferrari. I do like the interior of this car. It's just. Yeah, we didn't we try this before? I can't remember. Let's have a little look. Tiny little skinny seats mounted into the carbon. Oh yeah, it's cool, man. I like it. It's a little bit like the Lambo, but just a little bit more detail and and interest. Yeah, I like the dashboard as well. Not so much in the way of uh, 
you know, not so much LED going on there. And you've got a much bigger windscreen. Okay, I'm ready to go. Ready when you are, sir. You know what's weird? Is is this La Ferrari a, a part of the Red Pack? No. Hmm, isn't it weird that all the Ferraris don't have the engine noise for me? So you don't I've have got like noise? No, I've got gearbox you wine. No mate, no mate. I haven't. It seems to be like that the Ferraris only have this problem. Thing is, I've got something that sounds a bit like the engine, but it's actually the gearbox or exhaust noise or something. Hmm. But you know, I can hear the click of the gears shifting. I can hear the exhaust. I can hear the road noise. If I run off onto the side, I hear like the 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 surface. You know, mm -hmm. I can even hear your car when you drive past, but not my own. We're really odd. Yeah, that is quite strange, man. Whoa, they're nice looking motors. Yeah, they are. They're very nice. Very, very nice. Oh man, I'm I'm under steering like crazy. What am I doing? Wrong gear, I think. I'm not a big fan of this track. I know it's like. What do you think of it? Where are we? No, the uh, GP track. Oh, the GP. Yeah, I'm not so mad yeah, about it. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of it. It's, it's like no, really this, bad adverse camber and stuff. No, this is GP. Oh, okay. But it's just really, it's like. Oh shit. Yeah, it's just loads of corners that just jump out of you and and not, and like the camber's terrible. Very nice. So I tell you what. Yeah, yeah. I haven't heard from the chap in a while. We well, keep uh, mentioning Game Hall, don't we, and worrying about the chap. But he is active. He's about. He's alive. So you know. Mm -hmm. He's. Uh, he was on Steam a couple of days ago, wasn't he? So we know he's about. But you know the guy. We we know he's got things to sort out. He's got important stuff to do and. Unfortunately, I think VR's taking a bit of a back seat for him, of course, understandably. He's a very shad. Yes. Yes. Was that it? Hmm? Was that actually a race? I just got to check a flag. Yeah! Well, that was fun. Was that, what was that, qualify? Oh, that, that was a practice, now it's a qualify. Alright, better take it serious then. Indeed, where's my mouse gone? Where's my mouse? I'll better change into... Oh, it's because it's not... Oh, we got someone else coming in. Blister. Blister. Vroom! And Otis has joined. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're getting some people in here. Otis must have seen that we changed servers and he has jumped in. He's doing a good job finding us. Is he one of our Steam friends? Uh, I don't know if he is. I think he is, isn't he? I'm getting a bit cute, confused. Is Odis Robin? Uh, no, it's not, is it? No. no, it's not. <laughs> oh my god. Too fast for the wheels. Oh my god! Someone Who was that behind? Spinning. Just completely spinning out. It was blister. Oh, sorry, man. Oh, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. If it makes any difference, everyone spin out. Oh, you know what? Your the side of your car like deformed in a really nice way there. Like all the panels went out of out of uh, warp, like warped out. Yeah, for that. Nah, it looks cool though. Good for the video. Oh shit! Well, good job. This is a uh, qualifier, isn't it? 
I'll be enjoying my place at the back. Oh, seriously? I'm just steering like crazy, this car. No, come on, what's going on with this? My tyres must be cold. Getting a bit of grip. There we go, it's coming back. It's one of the first games that you can really, for me, it's it's the first game where tyre warmth really makes a huge difference, you know? You feeling sick? No, I'm just getting really tired. Yeah, I'm, I'm the same, it's getting a bit late. What time is it anyway? What is the no, time? I've never felt sick in VR in my life, mate. I was going to say, yeah. Dude, feed me a bottle of whiskey and throw me in the Elite Dangerous and play me around <laughs> 15,000 times and I'd still be fine. Yeah, it's quite amazing, really. It's a skill. Yeah. And I mean, me and you have proven that point time and time again in the past, in Elite. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And you know that all that stuff about VR legs, I mean, I've, um, I used to get sick in VR. Hmm. Penny used to get sick in VR. Neither of us do now, you know. Mm -hmm. You absolutely can overcome it, and and people that get their VR headsets out and they feel sick and they're like, oh no, I can't do that. Just stick with it. Trust me, stick with it. Don't yeah. believe the hype. I think there there will always be people out there that will never get past it. There'll you rec you reckon that? You said that, yeah. yeah. I reckon you might be right. Uh, I think you'll find possibly people that get travel sick very easily in normal cars and stuff. You know. Yeah. You might find that people like that struggle. Well, like wusses. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm right. joking. Yeah. Oh, there's seven gears. I've just discovered a seventh gear. Oh, smash! I'm gonna get out of my car and have a look at my car from the outside. Now I've just slammed it into a wall. Oh, I quite like doing that from time to time. Spec the damage. Oh yeah, it's all right. It's looking all right actually. Weird, my little floaty screen is floating on the outside of the car. One good thing about a setter is when you get out of the car and look at it, it actually looks amazing. Whereas in P cars, it looks kind of low def. Like you, you know what I mean? I love it. You can even see in the engine. Hey, look at this, Vive owners. Room scale. God, it's amazing, isn't it? The detail on the engine, like everything, is so nice. Very cool, very cool indeed. The little droplets of water on the front, <laughs> really cool. Where I've sort of scats, skimmed across the grass. Nice one, man. All right, we'll call it a night there then, eh? And I'm shattered also. I've had a. Uh, pretty poor night's sleep for the last few nights because it's been so bloody hot in the UK and I know you've been suffering too in uh, Scotland yeah, there it is the La Ferraria and uh, with that we'll call it a night and I will just before I exit off to bed I will jump into chat if anyone wants to stay behind and say hello and I'll try and answer any questions and just to be an absolute nag about it Forum. <laughs> uh, no, you don't have to. It's not Forum. mandatory. Go check it out, guys. Have a look. Have a look. There's uh, there's cool stuff there. Anyway, good night, everybody. Good night from me. And it's a good night from him. <laughs>